What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So 91 overall, Val Verde came out yesterday and he was very expensive at the time. He was over one and a half mil. So I've, sorry, one and a half mil, 1.3, 1.2 mil. So I thought to myself, is he actually worth that much? He sat say different, but hey, I picked him up for 894. Let's try him out now. 85 pace, 91 dribbling, 84 shooting, 83 defending, 84 physical and 89 passing. The fact... That he's got everything above 83. We're in for a treat. Now he is six foot, so he's the minimum I will go for a midfielder, which is always gonna be nice to see. He has medium, medium work rates. I do prefer I do prefer medium high, but at the same time, I that's my second choice. Medium, medium. I do believe it's on near that medium high work rates. So three star weak foot is gonna be nice. I'm gonna be able to cut it onto the left and hopefully pass with it. Hopefully. Now, I will obviously be trying the over-the-tops with him because it, when I get into the long passing, you guys want to see this. But, hey, hopefully he doesn't mess up too much. Three-star skill moves is not going to be the greatest, but I don't really do skills with my midfield anyway. So, hopefully that should be fine. Anchor chemistry style on him. He is obviously on 10 chem. 87 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. A very, very fast midfielder. Now, he has got 93 shot power, 81 finishing, 93 long shots, 80, sorry, 80 attack and positioning. Finishing wise, it looks insane. Should be blasting the ball. He hasn't got any trait, like outside foot shot trait or finesse shot trait. But at the same time, when obviously you have so much shot power and so little finishing, usually the ball still goes in because that shot, shot power just carries the ball away. Now he has 95 vision, 97 short passing, 99 long passing and 71 curve. Passing wise, he looks insane. He looks like one of the best passers on this game. Over top through ball should be working with both feet. The one-two plays, the link-up plays, the give and go should be amazing with this guy. He has got 84 agility, 81 balance, 93 reaction, 94 ball control, 89 dribbling and 99 composure. Dribbling stats look insane as well. Not very agile for a six-foot player, but at the same time, I like how he's got the 81 balance because she shouldn't be doing any falling over animations. Now, am I going to be able to turn with him? I don't know, that's why we're checking him out. But he has got 91 interceptions, 71 heading accuracy, 98 defensive awareness, 96 standing tackle and 76 sliding tackle. Interceptions are going to be nice because he's going to have that 6 foot range to him. So he's going to be intercepting most of the balls. He has got amazing defensive awareness, which means he's going to be in the right spot most of the time. And hopefully car passing lanes, man marking is going to be all doing that by himself. Standing tackle looks insane. When he hits a standing tackle, we should be winning it 100% of the time. Hopefully. Now, he has got 65 jumping, him being 6 foot. He might win a few headers over like uh, 6 foot 1 maybe, but I highly doubt it. It'll probably be a 50-50 chance. Now, he has got 84 stamina. I do believe 84 stamina is not great, but for a person that's got high, uh, sorry, medium-medium, he's not going to be really running up and down the pitch. So, it should last throughout the whole game. He has got 90 strength as well. I love my midfielders to be strong because they kind of bully off strikers like there's no tomorrow. He also has 96 aggression, which is actually going to help with acceleration and sprint speed and make him even faster, which I'm looking forward to using in this card. Now, I have linked him up today with Odegaard, Junior, Mendy, and Varane. I've also got the likes of Suarez, Dembele, and Sosoko in the team. I will be using Valverde and a 4-4-2, playing him in centre mid, but I want to try him actually at cam as well. So I am going to be trying him in most likely in a 4-2-3-1 at cam, and I'll be trying him in CDM. So I'll be trying all central mid positions this, uh, today. But let's get straight into the games. Well, Verdi on the ball. Oh, that's really good pace. Really good stop. Can I get a shot as well? That looked like it was going in. Can you win the header? Beautiful winning of the header as well. I can already tell he's going to be an amazing centre mid. He looks like it. Well, Verdi just chilling. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, the freestyle weak foot coming into play. But did you see how fast he turned with the ball? Now, I don't really know why he was that high up, to be fair. As you can clearly see, I'm playing him in a centre mid position. But he was so high. No idea. Didn't mind it, to be fair. But when I went onto that weak foot, <coughs> it's a whole different story. Nice. What an interception. Ah, oh, come on, Daniel James. That was beautiful from, from Valverde. The fact that he can get from that spot instantly. Look at that. Wow. Okay. We're in, we're in for something special, I can already tell. The calm and composure on the ball, the quick, quick turning. He feels very, very agile, nice ball control. And his passing down that line was incredible to James. Jesus Christ, he feels so fast. It's ridiculous, everything about him. Just looks calm, looks composed. It's beautiful to see. 
Can I do this switch? That's a beautiful switch. Up and down instantly. Perfectly to the player. The accuracy, unbelievable. The power, pinpoint perfect. I'm going to switch play here. That has to be a perfect ball. My God. Look at the passing. That's st that stuff you see from like Team of the Year, Kevin De Bruyne, Team of the Year, De Jong. Not a future star. Jesus Christ, that's pinpoint perfect. All right, this is a test here. Let's see if he can actually win this header in the midfield. I don't know who he's against, but let's test it out. Just that he's six foot. He hasn't got the greatest jumping to him. Oh, he used his strength there. Did you see him nudge off the player? Just kind of push the player away so he can use that strength to get a wide open header. That is something you want to see from your midfield. Look at this switch off play. You can, he can do that all day of the week. And it's just it's beautiful to see. If Sanchez takes a good touch, it'll be helpful. Look how fast he is. Look how fast he is to come across that high aggression, showing that he wants the ball as soon as possible. It's beautiful. That's a great turn. Can I get a great through ball as well? It's a really good through ball. He's passing. It's it's amazing. It's I would say better than actually team of the, team of the year Diongs. 100%. His passing is immaculate. The way he just lobs the ball over time to time, every now and then, he doesn't screw up a pass. And he's so good. This guy can literally play cam, centre, mid, CDM. Little cheeky through ball. It's such an overpowered method. This is what some pros actually do. Because they have the likes of like Team Adia, De Jong and Prime, obviously, Hullet in their team. They can do those through balls. And that's exactly what you want from your centre mid. Be able to do those through balls. On the first time shot. Okay, I got a bit excited. Let's uh, let's relax. Let's relax. Because maybe I could have took a touch there. Maybe I most likely would have scored it. But I really, really wanted to see that shot power come into play. And it rifled the back of the net. It's a great turn. Going to fake it going that way. Half track back. Wow, I did a bit too much. He doesn't feel too bad on the ball. It feels actually pretty good. I would suggest not going on like runs like what I just did there. Because... It, yeah, he feels alright, but he's not like one of those players like Neymar or Messi. They can just turn it inside out with. Use that strength. Don't get shoulder. Don't get shoulder barge by Mbappe. There you go. Sh showing that strength coming into play. Yeah, it's well played. Well tackled. What I've noticed from him is that he's not one of those players that you can simply just go around and just click B. Like, you know, Foot Mr. Zoko, Virgil van Dijk, Chris Smalling headliner card. Because all them players are very, very tall. With Valverde, you simply have to time, very precise, time your tackle. Otherwise, he's not going to get that ball. And he's, his reach, I have noticed, he has got the six foot reach. By looking at it, he's not one of those players that can just go in and instantly get the ball. He's one of those players that you have to wait for the perfect moment to get the ball. Which, personally, I do believe is a downgrade. And simply, this is the reason. Six foot two Sissoko, a guy that can go running at you, instantly tackle, simple ways, because he's got that reach that he can put his legs around the player. Because Valverde is six foot, he can't do that. You have to be very precise with the tackles. That's the a bit of an annoying bit. One thing I've noticed as well, look how slow he is to get up. He's so slow, like getting up. When I'm running with him, he's quite fast. But I don't know. He's so slow when he when he's trying to go for support. For example, look where Sissoko is right now because I'm controlling him. Look at Valverde. You see how slow he is to get up. It's ridiculous. I don't know what he's doing. Get on to that Valverde. There you go. That was beautiful defensive awareness from him. Tracking the run and tra trying to cut that passing lane. He didn't get to the passing lane. Had to control him. But at the same time, he put in a beautiful tackle. Well-timed tackle. And he has got that long pass to him as he... Oh my god, look at it. It's so good. It allows me just to sprint straight through Rio. That was very unfortunate. I didn't get that through. Through the gap. Look how comfortable I feel with him. Jesus Christ. Just couldn't get a touch. He does get the ball back. And he puts a beautiful through ball into James. Or is it? Not the greatest through ball. Let's all be fair now. It was a bit too much. Maybe I should have clicked A and not Y. So it is time to review him. And let me say this card is something that I did not expect. Something that he can play centre mid, he can play CDM, he can play cam. Like, what else do you want more from this card? Now, six foot. I do believe six foot was a tiny, tiny bit small because...
for a CDM. For a cam, no. Perfect height. But for a CDM, yes. Yeah, simply because I wanted Valverde to be one of those players that you run at the person, you click B, you'll get the ball because he's got such big reach that he kind of traps the player. For example, Suzoko. Footman Suzoko, he does that exactly. Run at the player, click B, you're going to get the ball. Nine times out of ten. Trust me, I've been using this card for too long. I'm pretty sure I know. Now, medium, medium work rate. He was so slow walking forward, it was ridiculous. I saw Sissoko, he was up the pitch, ready to support. While Valverde, he was all the way back here. And I was just wondering, uh, Valverde, we kind of have to, you know, you kind of have to support me. We kind of have to play the game, uh, the way walking. But I was so confused at that bit. Now, freestyle weak foot, no problem at all. You can do the long passing, which you saw plenty of time. Guy does it every time. Over the tops, left, right, no matter what. Freestyle skill moves doesn't matter. Don't do skill moves with my uh, midfielder. Pace-wise, he's fast. Now, he's not one of those players you pick up the ball and you, you just run with. He's fast in a way that his aggression helps when defending. So he's going to be onto the point instantly. That's what I mean by fast. Not one of those players that just goes down the line and sprints. But... He's not bad at it, to be fair to you. Now, finishing-wise, I took a few shots. Didn't take a lot, though. The first one was with his left foot, and it was... I wouldn't say it was wide open, but I would say it was a decent chance. And he hit it wide like there was no tomorrow. That's obviously it coming down to his weak foot, and his finishing not being the greatest. But finishing-wise, he's not top tier. We all, we, I think we can all agree with that. He's not top tier at finishing. Passing-wise, though, one of the best passes I've used in this game. 100%. He is outstanding. He reminds me of Team Lee De Bruyne, Team Lee De Jong's passing. That's how good that passing is. It's ridiculous. The over the top from one side of the pitch to the other. No problem for this guy. He's going to have to do it 99% at a time. Now, agility wise, he didn't feel bad on the ball at all. He felt quite agile. I wouldn't say he felt like Neymar Messi standards, but he was nice at turning. He wasn't one of those people that felt clunky. He wasn't one of those people that lost full control when trying to turn. He kept it quite close to his feet. And that, I always have to talk about the ball control. Nice. Calm and composed. Takes a touch. You see that 99 composure? He doesn't panic. When a player like Team of the Year, Van Dijk, David Luiz, all these big, big centre-backs, big centre-mids, if you want to call them, come towards you. He doesn't. He just he keeps calm, composed, and he uses that strength to shield off the player. No problem. Interceptions. They were good. But I do believe, you know, for a centre mid, you kind of have a six foot two player that can just go around intercepting the ball left, right and centre with that big, big reach. He was missing out on some opportunities, but his defensive awareness helped him a lot with it. He was in the right spot most of the time. Standing tackle. I want to talk about this because I did speak about this in game. He's got one of those tackles that you have to be quite precise on when you're clicking B. Not one of those tackles like Suzoko that you go up to a person, you click B, you're going to get the ball. He's got a very precise standing tackle and you have to be careful with it because you'll be giving away a lot of uh, a lot of free kicks if you're not precise with it. Trust me, you're going to have to learn how to play with this card if you're going to get him and it'll probably take 20 plus games. Trust me on that. Now, stamina wise, it was nice. Up and down the pitch, no problem. Jumping. He uses his 90 strength. When you hold out, when you when you go for a header, make sure you hold LT. This is what I do. Hold LT because it kind of shields off the player. And allows you to win the header before the person. Valverde, he just pushed him away. He literally just used his strength and said, listen, listen, I'm I'm not the biggest player. I'm six foot. I know you're probably six foot two, six foot three. But I'm just going to do this to you before we get the ball. And he got the ball every single time. So that's always nice. 90 strength, shoulder, shoulder barging everyone off the ball. No problem with that. Aggression, made him faster, wanted the ball more, fight for the ball. Unbelievable. Now I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. He was nice. I wouldn't say he's a 10 out of 10 though. I wouldn't. Simply because, yeah, he was agile and stuff. But the reason I'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10 is because I do believe 6 foot is not the greatest height. And I did say at the start that he's got a decent height for a midfielder. But I'm looking back at it now and thinking to myself, this is why Hullet, this is why Vieira, this is why all these big players are so overpowered. Because you can simply go in, you click B, you get the ball. Because they wrap their legs around your whole body and get the ball somehow, some way. Valverde can't, that, can't do that. You have to be very precise on when you're actually standing tackle. But other than that, this card's outrageous. Unbelievable. And if you have the coins, get him. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. If you guys did enjoy this play with you though, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.